Hi everybody, this is Karen. Welcome back to our channel called Our House and I'm doing another homeschool dupes video. And if you're not familiar with my channel or what that is, it's where I talk about expensive uh, materials for homeschooling, comparing them to things that, you know, I have found are just as great or even better and a fraction of the cost or hopefully free. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna talk about teaching your child how to read phonics, uh, language arts, grammar and spelling, you know, because those are all so related. And then in another video, I'm going to talk about writing, teaching your child how to write essays, things like that. So we're going to go ahead and just get started about on teaching your child how to read. Now, you don't need me to tell you how expensive this can get just to teach your child how to read. If you look at the big name companies and all their curriculum packages, it adds up, it gets really costly, especially when we talk about phonics, grammar, spelling, all these things. So I can share with you some things that I've used recently over correcting that was very expensive and did not work out. And then what I found, some things I found on accident, you know, just to give me that little bit more that I wanted, that was perfect and was just like two, $2 compared to $100 or whatever. So we're gonna start with reading there are a lot of programs out there that are very costly I want to hit on one that I overcorrected with and this is spell to write and read now the claim with this is that you know if you have if you're teaching your child when there's two vowels together one of them talks and the other one listens then that is a watered-down phonics you know and this is the best of the best um, programs to teach your child how to read, how to write, how to spell, everything. And so this was $100 and it has the CD and the flashcards. And they make you think that that's all you need. But as you read it, you realize every kid needs a learning log and mom does too. And you know, they want you to buy theirs, even though it's just like a composition notebook, but it has like one line down the middle or something. And you know, it's like, I forgot, it's over $10, you know, for each one. And so that's another 50 bucks for me there. It, it, it adds up, okay. I love to read, I devour books, especially when they come to education, but this was horrible to get through. I think it took me like a month just because I didn't want to do it, I didn't like it, you know, but I wanted to do it for my kids and there's not really like a lesson thing or just a thing to do each day. There is like sections and it's very complicated. Um, you know, this is the guide. This is the teacher's manual. And so you think I'm supposed to read all this? before I start this, but they say, no, just read until like this much, you know, and then you can just get started. And then as you do the lessons, you'll have to flip back into here. So it's just not for me. One of the ladies that, you know, does workshops on this and, and everything, I think, you, I think you do need to go like to a workshop to learn how to really use this. You know, she said she was going to do lesson plans for all of it, which would be more money to buy. But I thought, OK, well, if I could just get the lesson plans, then I could do this. But she still hasn't finished them. I think it's been like a year because it is hard. It is very complicated. So. I'm done with that. I'm just gonna sell it now. Don't forget about, as far as the pricier programs, Hooked on Phonics, it is not cheap. Even me buying on Amazon, like the CDs and all the books, um, it can add up. And my son hated it. I have the flashcards for this too. The flashcards, flashcards all got lost and they just hated this. The songs, and the over like all the repetition they just want to color them you know because they're not colored they just think oh coloring book and then they start writing all over it um and it just didn't really get their attention these stories you can spend a lot of money on programs like this to teach your child how to read and i just don't think that it's necessary so let's talk about some other popular Books. If you're a minimalist, you don't want like this whole crazy program. You just maybe want one book to teach your child how to read. Okay, here's an old book, teach your child how to read in just 10 minutes. Some people really like this book. I wasn't a fan of it. It only has a 19 page first reader with it. A lot of it is just like the talking about it. And you can get this from your library. 
So check it out first before you buy it. Um, there's also the writing road to reading. I bought this one and then immediately sold it because <laughs> this these people must be related to the spell to write and read people. Uh, this is the Spalding method for teaching speech and I just did not like this book. My kids did not like this book. Okay, my fingernails look gross because I, I was using wax, dark wax to distress my desk. So just know that. If you see that, that's from wax. Okay, so anyways, so The Writing Road to Reading, you know, but that is one book and I sold it and then I got this from the library to show you. So I wish I would have just checked it out from the library first before I bought it. So always check your library first. So now I'm going to... The two really popular ones, I think, are 100 Easy Lessons to Teach Your Child How to Read and The Ordinary Parent's Guide to Teaching Reading. So I'm going to give you a quick little comparison. You know, very minimalist, just one book, Teach Your Child How to Read. I did this one with my girls. It takes you to about a second grade reading level. It is 100 lessons. Everything is planned out for you. You just read it. They have stories, pictures. You kind of go through some reading comprehension and yeah. So that's pretty much it. Very affordable. You can buy this on Amazon used. Now this one takes you to a fourth grade reading level. So I think you get more bang for your buck if they're about the same price. And uh, this has 231 lessons. So, you know, it has a lot more, but it goes up to uh, fourth grade. And this one does not have pictures in it, the no stories, which some kids like and some kids don't. Some kids don't like having to read the stories and they can get kind of long, especially towards the end. Um, these are kind of short, quick, easy, thorough lessons. These are the people from like a classically well-trained mind, you know, you know, that kind of family. Um, so this goes with that. Just a book like one of these is going to be a lot cheaper than a full blown curriculum package, you know, teaching your child how to read. You know, you can get these on Amazon. It's one book. You can just get paper, your own notebook and be done. You can make your own flashcards if you want, but a lot of these don't even have you making flashcards. Or you could do something like this that has the flashcards and the CD and the manual in the books, you know, for a hundred dollars or more if you buy everything. So I will stick to these two. Focus really on the love of reading. I recommend those books like the Read Aloud Handbook, the Read Aloud Family, Reading Magic. You know, if you are very worried about if you're teaching your child how to read the right way and are you messing them up, you know, read books like that. They'll make you feel so much better. Foster that desire to read and everything else will fall into place. And like I said, these are some examples of um, easy, Teach your child how to read books, you know, versus I know you know what's out there, costlier programs. So check out your options. That's all I'm saying. So let me give you something in the middle. If you like more of a full curriculum and you like more worksheets, dissecting, more, you know, more. If you like more, but you want to spend less, then I recommend the good and the beautiful language arts. Levels one to five are completely free. Okay, you can download them. I've used some of this with my daughters. I'll just print what I want. Sometimes I think this is filler stuff. I don't print it. Things that I think, okay, this is good or I want them to look at, memorize this poem or whatever. I print those things out. So, and I'll show you a little bit on that right now. Okay, so I wanted to show you really quick the good and the beautiful, the free language arts. This is level one. I believe levels one through five are free. And so if you just go here, you can buy it now. It's a PDF for level one and you get the course book, the phonics card and phonics cards and the mini books, which I think is a really great deal for free. Um, let's go to level two. And what does it include? So you have here the course book, course companion, and the phonics card for free. You hit buy now, and then you just check out. So let's move on now to grammar. All right. Um, 
I did in the past like um, first language lessons. I did first language lessons like the first two books with my two girls and I have fond memories of that. I did like it. But as I had more and more kids, that one-on-one uh, -on -one time to just talk about poems and dissecting sentences and talking about this and that, it got really chaotic. And um, there were some, you know, I wanted to focus on math. I want to focus on other things. And so it just became really hard. Then I tried first language lessons, you know, level three, which is a much thicker book than the first two. And yeah, I don't know. And this, these are, you know, 10 to $20 on Amazon. You know, I found this one at Goodwill. They're not that expensive. Again, I don't need to tell you about the really expensive programs that are out there. You know they are. Um, so this is something that's like, you know, mid-range. Because I love reading aloud and I love stories and my kids really love stories, we have a math curriculum that's centered around stories and me reading aloud to them. It was pretty natural for us to fall into something like this called Grammarland. Now this is a very old book, Grammarland, and you can find this for free because it's such an old book on like archive or just Google it, Grammarland, you'll be able to pull it up. And so it just talks, about, it's a story, like chapter seven is the quarrel between Mr. Adjective and Mr. Pronoun and little interjection. And so it just makes a really fun story about the parts of speech and things like that. So there's this old grammar land. And then I also found for three bucks, Journey, a journey through grammar land, which is, it's kind of different. There's pictures and there's exercises in here. So it's not just a story like grammar land is. There's actually exercises. Also, like I mentioned in one of my other videos, I do, you know, foundations. Well, you know, here it's irregular verb tenses this week. You know, in this one, they're talking about the subject is that part of the sentence about which something is being said. That's their memory line for that week. You know, I really like the classical conversations memory work for English. I think that's just enough of what I wanted to add to our homeschooling. You know, I do like Grammarland and a journey through Grammarland. I'm also going to show you now my favorite grammar resource that I stumbled upon by accident at a used bookstore and it was only $2. Okay, here's the price. $2. And that is Painless Grammar. And if you think grammar is dull and boring, open this book and think again. Okay, this is a enjoyable completely painless examination of parts of speech, sentence structure, punctuation, and you'll laugh at the down-to-earth examples and that show you the difference between good and bad grammar. This book was just everything that speaks to me and I read it and I'm like, yes, yes. You can just pick it up and just start reading it. Like there's no prep work. You don't need to like I did trying to torture myself for a month reading that teacher's manual for the other one. It has brain ticklers, which is kind of like the sneaky way of quizzing your child, but they're fun. They're really fun. When I think about it, you know, $2 versus $100. Never again. This is just all me right here. This is this is me. This is my style. One book that I can use for all the kids. So I also found at this bookstore the same thing for Painless Spelling. Another book for two bucks and you, I just, I pull it up on Amazon and it's also $1.99 on Amazon um, used. You know, Barnes and Nobles has a used for $1.99. So these are very affordable. Um, if you think spelling is dull and boring, open this book and think again. Again, easy. You just pick it up and you just start reading. I already sold all the spelling stuff that I had bought to overcorrect with. Um, I, I don't know if it was all about spelling or it was another one that had like spelling lists. And then, of course, I sold that because I thought, well, you know, spell to write and read that has a lot of spelling in it already, you know, and that was the mess like I mentioned before. Um, so, yeah. Two bucks. Let's face it, it is a business and you are trying to sell more, you are trying to upsell, and you do want to say, well, you need this to make this work. And whenever I hear that, well, you need to buy this to make this work, that's when I'm like, oh, you know, I start to doubt it. This is just more my style. One book that I don't have to buy anything else, no workbooks, 
No special notebooks, just a book that I can read to them and teach them from it. They have their notebook and their paper and that's it. Okay, so that was our video on teaching your child how to read, grammar, and spelling. Again, if you like big programs and lots of workbooks and worksheets and things like that, you know, obviously this video is not for you. I'm not downing that. I'm just saying for those of you out there that are like me, who maybe get overwhelmed and they prefer more of a minimalist approach, something like just one book for all your children in the family um, that you can use over and over again, that is not consumable. You know, that's what this series is for and also affordable. Like I said, this is a, we were talking about a program that I bought $100 and then this book that was $2, you know. So that's what we're talking about here in these dupes videos. If you're like me, try this, four bucks, before you try this, a hundred bucks. Thank you everybody for watching. If you like this type of video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe because more are on the way. And thank you again so much for watching. Have a great day, bye.